We'll get into the go home show for Raw later on, but uh, go home show for the Royal Rumble. And is Ronda Rousey going to be there, Dave? I presume so. Um, I know that she's scheduled for WrestleMania, and I guess it's been reported that she's going to be at the Rumble, um, which makes sense. The problem is, is that uh, then, what you if she's in the Rumble, does that mean that she wins the Rumble? Because I could see them, um, if she's going to come in and just get thrown out, it's kind of like a nothing, especially if, if she's going to be like a big headliner at WrestleMania, which if she's going to be at WrestleMania, she's going to be a big headliner there or she's not going to be there. But um, that would almost, you know, it becomes one of those weird decisions because if she wins the Rumble, I could see people turning on her, but if she wins the rumble they get a lot more publicity they're gonna you know people will be you know mainstream people will be talking about the big surprise ronda rousey came in nobody knew it and she won the royal rumble whether that's true or not you know but it's it's like from a mainstream um you know media standpoint her winning would give them tremendous publicity but her winning would also or may, it may not you know the fans may just go hey that's cool but I could also see the possibility of her winning, you know, especially if it's, you know, whatever, you know, if it's over Sasha Banks or Bianca Belair or sh whatever, maybe Charlotte Flair that, uh, um, well, if she, if she, if she was left with Charlotte Flair and win, win it wouldn't if she throws problem. that Charlotte to win, she will not be booed. No, no, that probably would go okay. But um, the you thing know, is, yeah. if she's going to be a WrestleMania, it should be a championship match. And if it's going to be a championship match, then she should probably win the Rumble. The yeah. exception would be if you have the whoever is challenging for the SmackDown title could win, and then you could have Becky just eliminate Ronda, even though she's not even in the match. And that's how you set up the match. But if you're going to put Ronda in the Royal Rumble, she may as well win the Rumble. And then you can do the Becky Lynch Ronda Rousey singles match at Mania this year, or she could, I mean, or she could throw out uh, Charlotte Flair to win the Rumble, and do Becky Lynch and uh, I mean uh, do uh, Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey. You could do that. Yeah, that's that's another possibility. Um, my impression is is that it's more likely Becky Lynch though. Well, I mean, if you if you remember the match that they had, I mean, the finish was all weird. And everybody wanted to see the the one on one singles match, so that should be the match. That could be the match, and it's the impression I got is that it's certainly more than considered to be the match. I don't know that it's official official, but I know somebody there who pretty much told me that it was on the, in the books and in in heavy consideration that that would be the match. So, um, yep, that. And it makes the most sense of anything. Um, it does keep Bianca Belair out of it, but you can always do that later anyway. I mean, it's, there's no rush for Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch. So, um, yeah, you know, and then and Becky Lynch is pretty much, in theory, has to win the match because Ronda's not coming back full time. I can't see her coming back full time. She has been training though, um, and she can make a lot of money um, in wrestling right now if she wants to. Um, cause obviously the TV people really want her back, but, uh, I don't know, you know, again, I don't know what, what's in her head, but I do know she's been training. She's been training pretty hard for a comeback, but that comeback could only be like two matches. Um, I don't know that, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't want to say I, I can't see her like being on TV every week, um, with when she said a kid and everything like that, but maybe. You know, I don't know. I don't know what's in her head. I mean, she's. You know, I don't. I don't know. She may be just ready to do a comeback right now. And and WWE, I'm sure, right now would love for her to be back as a regular, um, to give them you know that kind of uh, mainstream boost. Right now, I think they would love a mainstream boost just in the situation that they're in. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.